Hello, Geminis. Hello to all of the Geminis out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of June 8th through June 14th. Happy birthday. If your birthday falls in this week. Again, this reading is for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of June 8th through the 14th. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, check out the Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you feel like I am the reader for you, you connect with this reading, and you want to show some support, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. Also, hit the thumbs up image to help this video circulate so that you, it may reach someone else that needs clarity, enlightenment, and guidance pertaining to their situation and love. If you need a private reading, the link is in the description box. I am giving away or randomly choosing two people to do a private reading for this month just to give back to my subscribers to show my appreciation. So if you would like to qualify for a reading, you have to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment in the comment section as well. Also, I'm going live for the first time on Tuesday at 7 p.m. So if you would like to join, if you have any questions, there will be um, a, um, the directions or there will be a small fee. Um, okay, so I'm going to start off your reading. I'm using a Celtic cross spread for this reading. And let's, let's get it going. Gemini, what is the current energy for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. So I'm seeing a seven of wands followed by a two of cups. What is the past energy? This could be you, this could be your partner. Okay, so we have a seven of swords here followed by the eight of wands. Okay, what is the overall, oh, okay. overall thoughts? Another seven, you have three sevens here. Okay. No. Yeah, three sevens in a row. Wow. The eight of swords. So something is definitely coming to an end and you have a new beginning here. That's what I'm seeing. What it the hermit. You fear the hermit, Virgo's energy. But yeah, something is coming to the four of swords. That's your energy. What are you hoping for? Comment below and let me know. But something is coming to an end. I'm seeing a completion and a new beginning. Yeah, something that you're passionate about. The eight, ace of wands. And what is the outcome? The, the moon card. Cancer Pisces energy. Okay, so there's some uncertainty here. And you have the... Okay, so you have some obstacles to overcome. Before... Something comes to an end. You have some obstacles. Yeah, see? Obstacles in your way. Responsibility. That you're focused on. And that may be why the end hasn't come yet. I'm seeing you focused on obstacles. Like, you want to walk away from something. But you have like a lot, you may have like a lot of responsibilities. You want to move away from something to do something that you love. But I feel like right now may not be the right time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Yeah, past energy. I'm seeing you moving away from something or thinking about it. And you, you were ready to have this new beginning and move quickly. But again, it may not be the right time because you may have a lot of responsibilities. And see, right, your overall energy is the Seven of Cups. Lots of choices, lots of ideas, lots of things that you want to do. But you're up in your head about it. You don't know what to do. You're confused. I see some confusion here. And with this hermit card, you fear that someone may withdraw their energy. You may fear that um, you may have to withdraw your energy to gain clarity. Because you don't know which path to take. You're trying to gain clarity on which path to take. Because you don't want to mess up anything. This decision is going to be permanent once you make it. Is what I'm hearing. And this could be keeping you up at night. Because I'm just seeing like some overthinking energy. And with the Ace of Wands. This could be something about something that you're passionate about. Something that you're passionate about. But you're uncertain about leaving something or someone behind. Okay, so let's clarify this and see what's going on. All right. Yeah, see, again, the Wheel of Fortune. Pisces, Sagittarius, Pisces energy. You're waiting for a cycle to end so you can begin something else. See? Judgment. You have to make a judgment call. Scorpio's energy. You're going to have to make this judgment call. If you heard some noise earlier, a little, a little while ago, excuse that. But you have a judgment call to make about cutting someone or something out. But this decision is going to be permanent. <clears throat> is what I'm hearing. It's going to be a permanent decision and that's why you're up in your head about it because this is going to be something that is life changing. Yeah. The tower in reverse. And you don't you don't want to cause a tower moment for yourself. What is this decision? I don't know why I'm feeling like This decision has something, I know it has something to do with work. The nine of wands. You working hard, tired. Mm -hmm. Tired, juggling multiple things, multiple people. You may be feeling like you're doing too much at this time. Could be forgetting things, delays. There could be delays, but you're trying to, you're trying to bring in some stability for your family and you know you have to take control of the situation. Yeah, you have to take control of the situation. So right now with this food court, you are juggling multiple things. You just have lots of responsibilities here. That's what I'm saying. And you want balance. You want balance and you're trying to be patient, but all of this um, work is causing you to feel anxious. It's causing you to overthink the situation. And this is you overthinking and you're just trying to move towards peace and harmony. You want to move towards peace and harmony. You may fear that something is not going to come together the way that you want. And I'm hearing that this is what's in the back of your mind. That's why you haven't left something else alone. Because with the night of wands, you may feel like this is a long journey that you're on. Or this has been a long journey.
and you're trying to balance out something because I'm just seeing lots of responsibility. You giving your energy to a lot of people that you love. Could be your family, your children, your friends. That's, that's what I'm seeing. You could be putting money out for some things. I feel like with this King of Swords, you need to be honest with yourself about the moves that the moves that you're making because you don't want a um, disappointment in the future. Yeah, you don't want a disappointment. If you if you put an end to something too soon, you don't want to be disappointed later. And I feel like that's why you're waiting, Taurus energy, because. You're waiting for something to be illuminated to you. You're waiting for, you could be getting advice from other people. And this could have something like, as I felt earlier, this is something has something to do with the stability of your finances. You don't want to have any regrets. You want change and you want it fast, but you don't want to have any regrets. Some of you are business owners or starting your own business. You want to put forth the effort you need for success. What's your outcome? You want to? Okay. Look at this. A decision. A decision about work. That's causing you to feel stuck. Because you don't want... If you leave, this could be a job. This could be like... Something that has to do with your finances. If you just walk away or stop working on it, you don't want to lose money in the process because you're doing something else that you love. You're trying to make sure that your finances are okay and not blocked or restricted if you walk away. If you walk away could from a job or, yeah, from a job. Four of Pentacles. If you move on from work, hold back chariot energy. Mm -hmm. And it's saying the same thing. Walking away from work. Walk, something about walking away from a job. It, like right now, it may not be the time for you to do this. Is what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing. It's not time. You want to do it. But I feel like it's not the right time. All right, so let's get some Oracle cards out. Yeah, so you may feel like you need more time. You may need more time to do what something that you love to do in order for it to evolve into what you want it to evolve in. So I'm going to leave it at that, Gemini's. This is your reading for the week of June 8th through the 13th or 14th. I'm sorry. Happy birthday. If your birthday is this week, comment below. Let me know if this is your story as well. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. And don't forget about Tuesday at 7. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.